What's up YouTubers, this is Super Review Android. T today we're going to be testing Esnet Scan Plus. Um, you can download the free version of Esnet Scan via the Play Store. Or you can go onto Chrome or any browser and download it for free. Now, Esnet Scan Plus um, tests your, your home's network or your business's network. Um, as you can see, mine is Virgin Media 2G, as, as you see connected. It does give you your external IP address, which is pretty cool. I've not seen many apps that actually give you your external IP. Um, I've got mine on Dynamic, so anyone who wants to try and hack me, go ahead. It won't work. Um, Wi-Fi network status, pretty basic. comes into most network tools that you download. You'll get some like that. Um, Pretty cool TCP IP status with your map, your MAC address, your subnet masks, etc. etc. Um, does show you a security type, your encryption scheme. Jeez, I've not really seen many encryption schemes showed on apps. Um, your channel and the frequency, which I've not really seen on any apps at the moment. Um, we'll go into this a bit. Um, we'll go click on scan. I'll just show you what it actually does. Um, I've not had this app for long. I used to use the uh, Esnet scan, but recently I found out they had a plus, so I got it for free. As you see, what what this does is it scans for any devices on the actual network itself. As you can see, it's found four plus my phone. Um, at the moment it's best if I go into a PC computer to show you these apps and the commands that you can use as you see down the side um, you have ping, TCP scan, trace route, WOL, hardware, software, process, services and Samba um, we'll start off with ping ping basically just sends packets of information to the internal IP address and it gives you a overall minimum maximum ping etc etc um, nothing really special as you can do this via a command prompt on a computer um, TCP scan um, scans all your parts in your computer um, as you see that that's my computer it does scan my parts it tells me what parts I have running open pretty cool um, you have trace route which um, displays the series of IP routes and is used in delivering packets from your computer to the destination as you see most most of the time I do this it just shows me my internal IP address no real need of a trace route not that I've found so far WOL is wake on one um, which sends a packet of information to the computer and it wakes um, the actual screen up if it's asleep and turn, basically turns your computer on if it's in standby or asleep as I've just woke up my computer as I can see now um, hardware, uh, this is, I've not fully worked out how to use this yet um, but the idea and concept of it is it will tell you all the hardware info on that computer um, it does ask for a community name, which I'm not sure what what mine is. As you see, it does say fail. Um, I'll try to look into this a bit more and see if I can give you any feedback on that. The same with the software. It does exactly the same. Um, processes, near enough <laughs> exactly the same. Um, but when I do get that working, it'll be quite a nice feature to use, especially if you're not on your network and you're on someone else's network. You can find out what hardware, what software they have, what processes they are processing. Um, I think the same with services and the same with Samba. Um, we'll just go off this for a sec and go on back onto there. You see as well, um, it shows you your Nick vendor. It will show you all the computers in like a pie chart as such. There you see. Um, so what's on what as such. Um, you've got your operating systems. So what host more operating systems um, and your group 
etc etc which is pretty cool if you have a more larger scale business style network um you do have a couple of buttons down here which i've not yet tested um oh yeah i've tested this this you can change the name of your device um it does show you your mac address and basically any general information as it says general info um you have this button which i don't know what that does so i'm not going to press it i'm not going to press that um i'll go to the phone for now my phone um what was i going to do no 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 i wasn't going to do that what I was going to go on to is was it that ah yes um this is your pin command options the top one so it determines the number of echo requests to send so you can um so like as if you want me to test a a device to see how how well it can cope with ddosing you could raise them up and if you um scan then we'll go on to go on to that and if we try it no it's not that one my bad what it would do is instead of doing four as it did last time it should oh maybe not it should have done a hundred packets and um, we'll go back onto it and see why it does that um, i don't know why for a moment but we'll, we'll work that out as we go through the app a bit more i just keep it on three um i interval is the the wait time for interval seconds between sending each packet which is should really be the lowest that's the best to test stuff and minus t t t l sets the ip time to live so the higher you put it up um probably i don't know what, what the other thing set the ip time to live um i'm not 100 percent sure um if if you do want to know what that is it should be in the comments as i'll find out for you um your tcp scan i like to have mine set on scan active tcp parts so then you're not looking for just basic parts you're looking for a mass range instead of custom so if that that is better for if you wanting to get into a computer and hack or intercept data um, that, that's the best bet um, your trace route which is your max hops which is the maximum number of hops to search for target um, as I said trace route I don't know why anyone really uses this so I'm just gonna sh let you have a look at it as you see here this is the community name which you have to work out I'm not exactly sure so I'm gonna I'm gonna try a couple of different things here to see if it works um, version 2c Make sure SNP is enabled to fetch details from the device. Community name is required to ask us a user before providing system information. How to configure a simple network manager protocol. Uh, okay, so click save on that. We'll try one more time with that. Hopefully that will work now. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. And leave any comments. Um, anything that I've said that's wrong as well, please, please correct me. Um, I, I'm, I don't say anything unless I, I kind of know it's right so let's, let's have a look at the TCP scan so now it should scan part 0 to part 1024 um, down to me having a phone it doesn't scan the parts just let me change that for you um, to a PC TCP scan it should show a couple more parts maybe dependent nope We'll keep it with the Microsoft DS and the EP map, which is a DC endpoint resolution, <laughs> which I'm not 100% sure on what that means, but I guess guess that's pretty cool. Um, as I was going to test, I'll test the hardware in my computer and see if it can recover any information. As you see, it doesn't. Um, I will show you how to actually get that working in the comments section um i'll write a, a paragraph of how to find the community name etc etc um oh if we go back 
back back so Vulcan this um this does search for all your networks. I thought it would, but it just shows the one that you're connected to, which is pretty rubbish. Domain who is. Um, so if you type in host name or an IP address, so I'm just going to type in a, a random IP address. Um, and it should find who that is. Domain name is vert.com.net domains can be measured. It will go to the right. No match for domain. Oh, that's, that's pretty rubbish. So let's try and find a, a more basic one. So what we'll do is we'll go on www.youtube.com backslash super review android one uh invalid host name or just resolve youtube so basically we'll just try something that's really basic now google.com done Let's see if we can find something as you can see um it shows the domain name the the register Referral URL, name server, so it shows the servers, status, um, the creation date of that website, which is the 15th of September 1997, so that's when Google was formed, which is pretty cool, pretty cool little update app, um, the updated date, and the expiration date, so if you wanna, if anyone wants to take over Google, just wait till the 14th of September 2020, and then, I guess, buy the domain. But they'll probably renew it by then. Um, terms of use, no, you don't need to read terms of use, that's boring. Um, that's about it for this this app. Um, you can share, so I don't know why you'd really want to do that. Let's have a look. Um, you've got a bit of help, oh, we could, we could use this, we could use this. Um, da -da 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 -da. Done all that. Oh, we'll find out what that mean. So, 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 so. Nope. So, we're paying TC for trace route and shooting name as this. Right, I don't want to really. Network scan result. Um. Delete, edit, monitor. So, add device to monitor list and get notifications about up and down statuses. So, that, so the red squiggle line will tell you when the device is turned off when it's turned on um, if it's running if it's not running etc etc so that's a little cool app if you've got um, a big a big business so you know when one of your computers go down um, you have favorite which is tapped out to your favorites list so maybe um, for big businesses if you have a server as such you'll put that into your favorite so it's a quick easy access instead of walking through hundreds of different um, work groups as such, um, which is pretty cool if you've got a business, but um, I don't, so that, <laughs> that doesn't work for me. Um, let's have a look through network reports. As you see, they've shown you through the, the charts and the info. Um, monitor device statuses. Didn't really look into this. Mine's to selected network devices and get notified about device statuses. To use monitor network device feature, blah, 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 time interval. So that will just, I think that's near enough exactly the same as the squiggly line, um, but it would just be how many times you get told about it within the set amount of time that's given. Um, you do have a monitor log, which, um, if you do do the monitor and you do actually put one of them squiggly lines and you click on one, it will log it all for you so you can, you know when it goes off, when it comes back on and you can uh, as such find faults with, within it. And we've been on that one. Search that on filter. So this is more for large um, work group demands as such. So anything really above 
30 or 40 computers connected to a server. Um, you might use this to search for an individual computer. Um, so you can sort it by IP, host name, device status, the last updated one, the MAC address, and off vendor names. Pretty cool if you've got a big business. Um, you see, as you see, this is the hardware information actually working. So that's pretty cool, as you can see. So we'll have a look into this. So SMMP is one of the widely accepted protocols and is using it in Excel. It allows you to fetch hardware. So now we've got all these commands enabled. Configuration is what we want. Tap to configure commands departments for selected hosts. This will override any network level samba. Yeah. It allows you to access shared files on the network device using SMB. Um, access files and folders of SMB enabled devices. So um, basically what I think you'll have to do here, and if I'm not mistaken, is on your actual computer itself, um, enable the protocol for SMB, um, which, will allow, which will open the port and this application will be able to take information off it such as as you can see in the pictures that they show um, so we'll look into that maybe on another video um, and going into the computer side of it that's if anyone wants to but I don't think I can find any more you can really do with this app um, there is um, an icon editor that I, that I did find I don't know there we go so you can actually um, change it to whatever you want. As you can see, there's quite a lot. Um, hard disk, webcam, firewall, camera, games console, virtual private network, gateway, router, etc, etc. So it's quite an easy way to see what's running, what's not running, um, any problems. And this is can all be done via your phone. Um, I don't really know why you'd want to do it on your phone as such um, if, if I was personal to have that I would have Windows Server 2010 installed on a server or even on a work a work oh what's it called now oh wow on a work on a work group that's it um, but if you do want it on your phone it's it's not a bad app I do rate it 5 out of 5 for, for a phone app um, but in general, I would probably rate it 4 out of 5, um, just because how it's laid out in general, it's quite difficult to find what you're looking for. As you see, you find that, um, but it's uh, a lot better if you do get it on your computer. Um, I, do, I don't recommend this application to anyone who's really only got like two computers, unless they're wanting to use it for any hacking or playing about with other people's networks um, if you do want to learn how to hack don't talk to me just learn how to hack you do it off just by messing about as such um, there is tutorials on YouTube of the basic hacking and how to start off and then from there you'd you'd have to learn by yourself um, but yeah, I don't want to go any more into that. Um, <laughs> but anyway, don't forget to hit that um, subscribe button. Um, if you like it, just click that big like button. It really helps me out. And if you've got any comments, like any applications that you're trying to find or um, anything that you're looking for that you can't find, just give me a general idea of what you're looking for and I'll see what I can do. Um, and peace. Don't forget to subscribe. Whoa.